the Denton Vacuum Desk 2 Etra Sputterer. It's off right now, so we're able to open up the top lid. And right here is where your uh, material would go. And then you can see there's a shutter here. And to close the shutter, go counterclockwise. You can see that the piece here has fully opened up. And then when you come back over there, we've covered up the center. If you go this way, part of that folds back, and then you can just leave it there and do your uh, sputtering that way. So I'm going to put it over to get ready for etching. This has an internal vacuum pump, so when you turn it on, it will automatically begin pumping down. So the power button is here on the right. There is also a circuit breaker on the back uh, that has to be on. So you can see we got our stop lights came on here. We've got a bar graph here, and this light is flashing. Once this begins to come down below atmosphere, and there's pump, you can see now that has gone steady. And we're going to let it pump all the way down to about 20 millitores. So you can see we're at about 20 uh, millitore now. So I want to etch, so I'm going to push the etch, and we're, I've got argon hooked up to the back, so argon will enter the chamber and the bar graph will go way up and most likely kick back out so that the etch button will no longer be lit. Once it comes down again, which is much quicker this time, uh, then we'll do it again until it's able to stay lit. So here we go. So as you can see, it went off scale, but you can see also it's pumping back down much faster. If the edge goes up again, then it'll come back down again. And now you can see though since it did not go full scale, that the edge has stayed lit. So now we're going to wait for it to get to about 100 and 50. Um, there, your increase for your gas or adjustment for your gas is here, and I probably have it up for this already. Uh, if I'm to, it's a needle valve, so I'm going to turn that down just to show that if I turn this down, you can see that this bar graph goes down. So the, this is the pressure that we're seeing inside the chamber, and we want to set it for etching to about a 125. So from whenever you make an adjustment, there is a, a lag period. So we want to make sure it's stabilized. So at this point, we're in etch mode. And I'm going to hit the start button in manual mode first. And once I do that, in the chamber, you'll be able to see the plasma being formed. So if you look in the chamber there, you can see it's got a purplish color to it. And I can increase or decrease the current here. And in manual mode, it just keeps counting up for as long as you want it to. So I'm going to hit stop at this point. And I'll show the, uh, once I go into um, sputter mode, it will do an automatic. So we're stopped. I'm going to turn the pressure down and the current down. I'm going to open up the shutter. 
the actual cheddar up there. And I'm going to go right. I'm going to go right into butter. Now, sputter operates at a much less pressure, so I'm going to go down. It operates normally around 50 millitor. That looks about right. And I'm going to set this. You set this. Did you switch is this way? And I'm going to set it for 10 seconds. And then I'm going to hit start, and we'll see this counter counting down. And we'll see the, and uh, I'm actually going to go into, into manual first just to make sure we get the current right. So I'm going to hit manual and increase my current. And now I'm going to hit automatic, and you can see our counter is counting down, plasma is being formed. And then at the end of the cycle, it finishes. Finished, and, and, and you want to extract your sample out of there. Uh, you must turn this off. There's no releasing of pressure from that other than turning the whole thing off. So you turn power off and you can hear the, uh, the vacuum being released. And once it does, you'll be able to lift up on this and extract your sample. Okay, here's our power cord, standard uh, 115. Uh, circuit breaker is located here, cooling fan is here. And here is your uh, input connection, which I've got set for uh, is a barbed fitting uh, going to the argon tank. Argon pressure normally between 2 and 5 psi. Again, all of this may have to do with whatever settings you need. 